Hello and welcome to the MAC weather page for this Monday, November 20th. And the big story of the week is going to be good holiday travels. It looks like we'll have uh, plenty of sunshine this week. We do have a couple of precipitation events possible, but they look very light. The first will be Tuesday into uh, Tuesday night, and it could end as a uh, few flurries. And then again, as we uh, get towards the end of the week, by Friday into early Saturday, we could have another rain event. But again, not a whole lot of precipitation is expected this week, maybe a tenth to as much as possibly a quarter of an inch of precipitation. But again, no big storms. We'll have plenty of days with temperatures in the 40s. So again, if you're traveling to and from uh, your destination areas, it looks like, uh, for the most part, looks like pretty good uh, driving conditions for the week. And if we look at the normals, our normal high for today is 43, the normal low is 28. And so far for the month of November, just over one degrees below normal. And for Sunday, we had a high of 37, a low of 28 with no precipitation. And uh, if we look at precipitation through the area, nothing overnight. And again, if we look at the uh, last storm, we wanted to be between 1.0 and 1.4 inches to be a good accurate forecast. We actually ended up at 1.44, for, so pretty darn close. We actually had uh, six stations fall within that uh, 1.0 to 1.40 range, and seven were just above it. So overall, not too bad of a forecast. And if we look at the conditions around the area this morning, you can see temperatures mainly in the upper 20s to the low 30s across the region. And again, pretty typical for this time of year across the state of Michigan right now. Temperatures in the 30s mainly across the southern part of the state, up into the 20s once you get north, and even some upper teens once you get back towards the central and western portions of the upper peninsula. You can see on radar, there is just nothing out there, whether you're in Warsaw, Wisconsin, or if you're in Springfield, uh, Illinois, or Springfield, Ohio, again, no precipitation across the area this morning. And you can see with the winds now shifting to the southwest, out goes the 30s and in comes the 40s today and tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. And then again, we could see some showers out ahead of that cold front as we get into the day on Tuesday. On the weather map this morning, you can see high pressure pretty much dominating the central U.S. We kind of have a split zonal flow, and that's keeping uh, the weaker systems with not a lot of moisture, mainly up into Canada, and the southern jet stream keeping uh, conditions a little bit wetter across the far uh, southern U.S. Again, for the center portion of the U.S., but for the most part this week, fair conditions and whatever precipitation we do get across places like, like Michigan looks like it'll be on the uh, light side as we see it right now. And if we look at the forecast map by Tuesday, that uh, weak cold front will be coming into the area, touching off just a few scattered showers. Again, no big deal. Precipitation amounts most likely under one-tenth of an inch. And then finally by Wednesday, we look at our next uh, weather maker that might bring us a little bit better chance of rain on Friday. And again, that could be around a tenth to maybe two tenths of an inch at most. And again, it'll have snow to the north, but that'll lift up into Canada for us. When it does move into the area, it looks like it'll be mainly in the form of rain. It could end as a few snowflakes or snow showers, but again, no big deal this week. Driving conditions <clears throat> will be quite well. And as far as quantitative precipitation here, this is actually uh, over the next seven days on this graphic. And you can see maybe a quarter of an inch, two tenths of an inch across much of the area. That's over the next seven days, but during the work week, we expect uh, probably less than that, maybe uh, a tenth to two tenths of an inch. And as far as the forecast goes today, you can see uh, we're going to be quite breezy again today with some gusts up near 30 miles per hour with that southwest wind, again, bringing in the warmer temperatures out ahead of that weak clipper system. And then that uh, temperature regime will continue to be in the 40s for tomorrow with the chance of showers uh, occurring. And then we'll see decreasing clouds cooler overnight with those dropping into the mid-20s and cool conditions again for Wednesday and Thursday, but then we warm back up as we head towards the weekend when we have about a 50% chance of rain as we get into Friday evening or Friday night. Much of the day on Friday shouldn't be too bad. So for Thanksgiving Day right now, it looks like temperatures will be around 40 for a high, around 30 for a low, with plenty of sunshine for Thanksgiving Day. As far as weather watch this morning, not a whole lot going on across the U.S. We have some fire danger conditions as we get out west with drier conditions and strong winds. And then for the Great Lakes, we have gale warnings on Lake Michigan, parts of Lake Superior and Lake Huron. Other than that, just a few uh, fl uh, flood warnings for some of the area rivers and creeks around the state. Thanks for stopping by and have yourself a great day, a great work week, and 73s to all.